prior to that point havoc is just the sort of like horny best friend guy <laughs> he's like loving life and smoking cigarettes and seems totally indestructible and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden all of that is completely drained out of him in this really uh tragic way do you guys think that's it for him do you or you know i mean what do you think mike yeah, Mike. no 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 yeah I mean, mike I... I think <laughs> I think that there someone will combine his lower half with some animal like a, an ostrich or something that that will allow him to be an excellent military officer again. I was kind of annoyed that they like had to jump through the hoops of saying, "Okay, so I know that there are prosthetic robot legs that exist in this world, well, but he can't have them." Just so we're yeah. clear. <laughs> yeah, his nerve endings are done. In all seriousness, I don't think he's going to leave the military. I don't think he's going to go yeah. work at a grocery store. No, I, I think don't he's think going so to be an integral part of Colonel Mustard's plans going <laughs> forward. They just need to show us the stakes. Especially because there's a problem where you don't want to harm your main character, but you can harm the people next to the main character. Right. Yeah. The point of Havoc in this episode is partly to show you the stakes of like just how dangerous this all is and like Mustang sort of drive to the top and, and that. And I think the other thing is the episode's telling you like there's more than one way to die because like you could literally get burned a bajillion times and you're dead or you can get like shot like Hughes or you can have that moment where Havoc like lets the cigarette ash fall from his mouth and it almost like just catches him on fire without him even (laughs) noticing it. And that's like another cost or another way that all of this could undo you that doesn't look like the way that you might expect it to happen to other characters in this sort of like action-y show, but it's definitely like a real possibility. The fragility of things, you know? Was really right. I think that was my favorite shot of the whole episode, honestly, was yeah. the moment where the guy catches the ash that's falling out of his mouth. I was like, oof. I didn't care about Havoc before. I mean, I identified with his... <laughs> Never mind. His love of his boobs. Boobs. <laughs> His blue love of boobs. <laughs> yeah. Sure. But, um, you know, in that moment, I was like, okay, I, f- I feel bad for this guy. That's, that's awful. 